Hi guys, Tim again with Real Southern Exposure. Welcome to another episode of what we're planning on doing today is we're going to end up changing out one of the tires on the log trailer. So let me go ahead and show you what we're dealing with. And a very large blister right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the tools you're going to end up needing for this. All right, one of the tools you're gonna need is this handy dandy little gadget right here, which is a valve stem tool. Um, valve stem on the tire. This takes this little valve right here completely out of the tire. It's got a groove right here on the front that it fits inside of that valve stem and then it'll turn to unscrew that valve. Um, these little dillies right here are only like two bucks but i tell you what they can cause you a whole lot of heartache whenever you're trying to do this um, so you want to get them so you can take that little valve stem out on this one i have already taken the valve out and uh, we're ready for step number two next thing you're going to need is a jack to go ahead and jack this thing up which i got uh, this 52 inch farm jack right here holding it up right now and, uh, and I've also put it on stands. Next is a copious amount of pry bar. So I got some aligning bars. I got a pry bar, crowbar that's all bent up, screwdrivers. Uh, you're gonna need a hammer and you're gonna have to take this uh, wheel off this trailer. So. You're going to need one of these. However, I ain't using this crap. So what you could do is you could end up just using an impact wrench like this and a proper socket that will fit on these. Because if you don't, you'll end up stripping them out. So, and then your final item being some kind of air compressor device and an uh, uh, air chuck of some kind <clears throat> now i got this at uh, tractor supply i'm just going to tell you right now if you end up getting it you're pretty much only paying for this because the rest of it is garbage all right i own this for probably two days worth of airing up and it ain't like i throw these things around or anything because usually i just hang these up inside of the uh inside of the barn by the air compressor but uh it's a really nice tool i mean you can take and deflate the tire you can air it up got a gauge on it a uh, quick connect end on it the gauge ain't worth the crap though this is the second day i was airing up uh i was airing up a, a lawnmower tire and uh the dang needle fell completely off of it I got so mad I just threw it so uh, I ended up getting an old-school craftsman uh, uh, air compressor gauge and put on here and this thing works fantabulous no issues with it and this thing right here is right at 30 years old have you noticed that nowadays just about everything you buy is ultimate garbage it falls apart within a matter of hours of getting the past couple of years has been the worst uh, everything from tires just garbage i guess it's due to the extremely high quality manufacturing in the chinese uh, manufacturing world good thing we got rid of that good old usa stuff that stuff lasted entirely too long anyway let's get on with it so before we get started why don't you go ahead and grab yourself a glass of sweet tea kick back relax and take in a little bit more southern exposure so let's go ahead and get this tire off the rim
Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Mac Cool uh, liquid inside of this bottle. Not let the word get out with this. It's dish detergent. Anyway, I'm gonna spray it around this bean. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna lubricate the seat between the bead of this tire and the rim itself. So I'm just going to take and spray a considerable amount in here. And the reason why I said don't let it get out is apparently nowadays with the price of everything being so much, uh, I guess dish detergent must be in extremely short supply because this crap right here is expensive. Well, everything's in short supply. You know, somebody once told me that uh, right after that junk happened with the, the air chuck, why didn't I just take it back to tractor supply and swap it out? Well, with my diesel fuel being four, $4.70 a gallon, I had to look at do I really want to drive 40 miles, 45 miles uh, to go change out an air chuck that costed me $28 and has a value of maybe $3 and spend, uh, I don't know, $40 worth of fuel to go down there and get it. Now, I bought it, so that's one set of forty dollars now I'm gonna have to go down there again that's eighty dollars and then on top of all of that I paid twenty eight for it so that's a hundred and eight dollars I paid for that three dollar air chuck high quality anyway so spray a generous amount on this and then once we end up doing that what you can do is you can take your truck and with the front tire you can drive on this and it'll break the bead off the rim by doing that. Um, I'm not going to do that though. A little, little bit more uh, of this magical elixir on there. And then uh, let me get the tractor. One side now let's flip it over and let's do the other side uh, I know one of you guys is probably gonna say something like uh, why don't you just go to a tire shop and do that? Well, that'd be great, but uh, the nearest tire shop, once again, is uh, roughly about, probably about 30, 35 miles. Um, and how much in fuel are you gonna pay to go there on top of getting them to break the tire loose and mount the new one on? It just doesn't pass. It's actually pretty daggum stupid to do that. But hey, I guess some people got money that way. Alright, so next step with that valve stem pointing up, um, what we're going to do is we're going to break this thing loose. So if you look, you got the bead of the rim right here where the seat is. And your bead of your tire is sitting on that seat. What we're going to do is we're going to pry this in between that seat and the rim. And then we're going to take our knee and push down on this end to get the bead of the tire to go on where this groove is. If you want it to go up in there. And that's 
that's going to give you the distance you need to pull that tire up. broke loose off of the bead. Now we got to get the other side. Okay. So, on the other side, if they can stand it up, you can get that bead groove of the rim right here on the bead of the tire, right here in the center. And then, you take your uh, You just pop the way up. Right up. Tires off. Now we got the rim. So what you want to do is clean up the rim. Alright, it's clean. Um, you're gonna put this high quality, genuine, made in China. You know they have the best manufacturing standards in the world. It has to, because that's all we buy. Um, I would love for this to be American made, but uh, frankly, yeah, there ain't nobody in America who makes it. So, we're going to take this, and we're going to lubricate this rim. This bead with our golden juice we have here. We can do that up with the, the rim in a firm position. You're going to take uh, get some more juice on it. Right. So, we're going to take and hold the tire at an angle and you're going to slam it down on the rim. Let's put that valve stem over here on this side. Okay. There we go. She just slid right down. All right. Now we're going to give her a squirt on this side. Can be pretty generous with that stuff. I know it costs like seven thousand dollars a a squirt bottle now. So, now we got that on there. Guys, I got her on there, got her done. 
Uh, what I ended up having to do before my Made in China battery died, um, and I would have used my other one, but it doesn't hold a charge anymore. I just bought it about two weeks ago. Um, what I ended up doing was I mounted the wheel back on the trailer, and then I put a clamp on it, well, strap, whatever you want to call it, binder. I put it on it to choke it down to the rim. Once I ended up doing that, I sprayed this great can of ether right here inside of it, and then uh, lit a piece of paper towel on fire put it up there to it it popped on the rim and immediately well, as soon as it pops on that rim you need to take and put air in it because what that ether is doing on the inside it caused enough to where it would push the bead on the rim but all the oxygen on the inside it's eating at the same time so as it's eating up that oxygen there is nothing to replace it with so it if you don't immediately start putting air in it, it will pop it back off the rim. The tire will actually suck itself together. All right, um, so with that said, once you end up doing that, you gotta take the air in it immediately. So immediately I went to go use my genuine, what I thought was made in the USA, but turns out it's China and it didn't work. So then I went back and I grabbed my outstanding piece of equipment that I bought at Tractor Supply and it didn't work either. And it is now stuck at 70 PSI. But there is nothing inside of it. Hell, the handle hardly even works anymore. Good thing I bought it. So I ended up having to uh, race all the way down to the barn to go get the chuck off the big air compressor, which is an old school Craftsman uh, Sears and Roebuck. And uh, it works fine. I think that thing's almost 50 years old. So. Anyway, so uh, what did we learn from this video? If you can buy American, buy American. Or German, or somebody who actually cares about what they're making. Watch what you pay for. Um, and at the end of the day, how much is it really gonna cost you to get that bottle of dish detergent? If you burn $40 in fuel to go to the grocery store and back to get that $8, $9 bottle of dish detergent, then you're really paying almost 50 bucks for that dish detergent. Anyway, um, get you some good tires, not made in China ones. That's the reason why I'm changing all these out. I just need something to get me by. I gotta go pick up a load of oak tonight. And uh, so with that said, I'll uh, see you on the next video and God bless.